What's going on? We're going fishing. Hey, morning, Larry. Good morning. How you doing? Doing great. I got my hands full, but I'm about to hop in. You taking me somewhere special? We got a special spot. All right, let's get it. Good morning, folks. Welcome back to the channel, Fishing with Norby. We are on our way to a little, big, wooden marina. Got our coffee this morning. I'm out here with my Alabama grandpa, Larry. And we're going fishing on a marina dock for some crappie. Big crappie. He said he's been catching a few, so we're gonna put him to the test. And we're getting out here early. It's, it's just getting daylight out there. I don't know if you can see it. It's about 7 a.m. What, what temps the truck say? It says it is 29. Woo! <laughs> That's no Heat joke. Wave. But we can hop in your houseboat and warm up if we That's need right. to. Okay. That's awesome. You got coffee on there it's too? We're in there. Absolutely do. <laughs> you keep it 80 in the houseboat. Yeah. Okay. That's what I'm talking about. We're going to have some fun. We. We geared up, we got the stuff out of the boat this morning. We're gonna go smash some slabs. We've been doing it from the boat lately, but this is gonna be a bank fishing episode. Fishing from docks, marina docks, wooden docks, posts going into the water. These crappie like structure, they like shade. Docks all over the country, any lake, any time of the year, you're gonna find crappie. Let's see if we can find some this morning. You know you're at a good spot when it's locked and there's a sign that says no fishing. <laughs> <laughs> Woo. Woo. That's what I'm talking about. It's nice and warm in here. It'll be warm in here. <laughs> I like it. Ooh, you going with a little chartreuse? That's what I've been catching. Really? Straight chartreuse, huh? Yeah. All right. Well, you got to put a little bit of mental candy on there. Okay. Okay. I know about that some thump gel. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's that minnow candy he's talking about. You guys have seen it. That's the one he likes. Thumpgel.com. They, they have a discount code. It's thump22. Good stuff. Larry, what do you think? Uh, first one catches a fish, got to kiss it today. Oh, <laughs> we need a split shot. How deep are we? Six, seven, eight feet? I'll fish it. That's how, oh, you already got it lined up. That's how deep you want it. That's about the way I do it. You want your rod all the way up. All right, that's easy enough. You already have one, Larry? Your first drop. <laughs> Sneaking in here by you. Got him. No way. My first drop. <laughs> oh, gosh. I'm stuck. I'm not stuck on him. Oh, he got off. He got off. You get around them poles, bro, do you? Dang it. <laughs> I just didn't want to kiss him. Wow. That was a good fish. Yeah. The better ones are in here. Yeah, they are. There he is. Okay. That's a keeper. Number one, Larry. I'm on the board. There you go. I gotta kiss him. Kiss him. Ooh. Gross. <laughs> That's the first time I've ever kissed a crappie. I've done the bass, but I don't know about the crappie. That'll work. That first one was bigger. Man, I've dropped twice, Larry. I stole your spot, though. You get back over there. <laughs> I thought you were going in that corner. All right. All right, I'll throw them in the net. Wow, doubled up. I brought the old thump net today, Larry. Yeah. Check this out. It works in my live well, but it also works for us bank fishing. 
Down in there. I'm gonna just zip her up. Set it down in the water on a rope. That's a good one. That's the one you missed a minute ago. Yeah, that's, that might be the one I missed. Look at that. I'm rigging up the thump net. You can leave this open, Larry, while they're in the water and they're not coming out. Yeah. And we can just drop them down in the water. Check this out. Better than that basket. There they are. Then we just drop them right in that thump net. We don't even have to open it up. We haven't even fished a different slip yet. I don't got hung up. Uh oh. <laughs> Give me some. You swapping sides now? Yeah, I'll try a different hole. Let them come back. I'll try this hole. Got him. Wow. Unreal. Unreal. This is so good. Wow. I don't trust myself tossing them down there. The water's low. Born again. That's the name of this boat. They like this boat, Larry. <laughs> they said, Born again. We are free. Born again. Yeah, is it again or is it a, a gin? <laughs> I think I'll, I'd rather be born again than a gin. Another one. What a day. We already got five in there. Well, you've been here 10 minutes. Six. Oh, he might, oh, yeah, he's nine. He might be nine, what do you think? Where's that? There's lines on the post. He's, he's gonna be close. Eight and three quarters. Put him on that side. Drop in here with me. I'm fishing the middle of it, not that corner. There he is. Well, I'm in the keeper hole. They're not the magnums. But I bet they're in there too. What a morning. This is cool. You don't have to get the boat out in the water. Huh? And you don't have to put the boat in the water. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's way easier than putting the boat in the water. There he is. And he's going to be close too. Eight and three quarters. I feel like that that's not right. That one's ten inches? Oh, you're killing me. Are all these ten inches? Uh, maybe. Well shoot. Uh, he looked nine. Uh, I threw back a nine inch uh, I should probably on that post on them where that white tube is? Yeah. There's a measuring. Alright. Alright. We're going to find out if those are 9 or 10 inch marks. So they only have to be 9 here on Gunner's Bill. He's 9 and 5 eighths, Larry. <laughs> I threw back a, a 9 inch a little while ago. I thought he looked like he was 9. Alright. They got some wide backs, those 9 inches even. Yeah. 9 and 5 eighths, almost 10. Alright, 
just put some more thump gel on. We're gonna catch us some more. Boom. These are all nine inches, Larry. We could throw these in the pond. You know it? Play the big ones. Play the big ones, throw the little ones in the pond. Baby. If, if we're taking them to the pond, I'm gonna keep this one anyways. He's a nine incher. So this net right here is a prototype. It's not out yet. I'll let you guys know when it's out, but we're making it uh, to where it opens up and sits open. That way when you're bank fishing, you can just drop him down in there. You got one too? We want yeah, we're gonna throw them in the pond. See how many we catch today too. I wonder how many are sitting down there in the same spot. It's crazy. Put the camera down there. I'm sure. Here's how it's supposed to work. Yep, yeah, I'd say they're doing it. Boom, way down there. Oh, I got a ground one here. Oh, it's a bass. <laughs> it's a bass. He fought hard. He slammed it. See, you, buddy. I've been encouraged about that, but that bunch is full of little ones like Yeah. So you said drop it down in the eelgrass hole, huh? Easier said than done. Punching eelgrass for choppy now. See what happens. Dropped it in the eelgrass hole. I also couldn't do this from the boat. There he is. Oh, it's a bigger one too. Oh man, nice. Look at that guy. That's a good one. Look how he ate it. <laughs> Woo. Ribs. Hmm? That one's got some ribs. He does have some ribs. Larry? Taught me something new. This is the first time I've ever punched for crappie. Is that right? <laughs> <laughs> I want to know if any of you guys watching this have ever punched grass for crappie. That's what we're doing. That's crazy. As that sun gets out a little deeper, yeah. Get back in there a little more. <laughs> yeah. That sun comes out, huh? But that's what the is. Yeah. Are you very deep in there? Same depth? Same depth. Same depth. Well, that's a good one. 
Yep, that's a ground one. That's a real ground one. 12 incher. Healthy, healthy fish. Pound and a quarter. Fat, they're so fat. Pretty good. He ate it on the way down. Wow. There he is. Got him. Good one. Bass. Oh gosh, he hit it on the fall. Yeah. <laughs> Get him there. Nice one. There he is. Ooh. That grass makes him feel massive, but this is a massive one. That is a big one. Yeah. Caught one more like that while you were snacking. Okay. Yeah, they think this one is a little bigger. That one's pushing 13 inches, guys. Beautiful, thick. You got to retie? I think I should, should be. I should retie, but. Straight into the thump net. Whew, it's cold, but that was worth getting up for. Unreal start to the morning. I haven't really told you guys what I'm using. So I'm using a 124th ounce jig head, tiny little shad on there with a split tail. I'll link it down below. And then six pound P-line to uh, about 12 foot liter tied to 10 pound P-line spin cast braid. We got our ACC sticks, super sensitive. You're using one too, aren't you, Larry? Yeah. He's got another crappie. All right, that's what I'm talking about and lose reel but this is the key to getting these bites guys if you haven't heard about it thump gel i'm reapplying after eight eight fish or so and i can still yeah i can still see a little bit on there but man this stuff fireworks off the bait in the water it shoots the flakes out and when that jig's just sitting there the crappie are looking at it sniffing it if you haven't seen the video of crappie sniffing it, YouTube crappie sniffing, and you'll know what I mean. Let's get back down there. No, they're still here. <laughs> Think the size would be any better over there? Maybe. All right, we're gonna swap docks on them. Larry, we got us a good mess already. Pretty good little Yeah, look. <laughs> this thing is awesome. <laughs> yeah. You didn't even let me get in the water, Larry. I hear you. <laughs> Here, I'll just take him off for you, too. How about that? I might as well. <laughs> wow, they hooked him right in the nose. They bite pretty good when you get them like that. Yeah. Yep, yep.
you insist. Probably about 40 of them in there. Woo, what a fun day, crappie fishing from the dock. Just getting over here to Sweet Springs, our wedding venue. Tiny homes in the background if you're wanting to rent those. Plenty of boat parking and charging. We're going in the venue building here. If you know of anybody wanting to get married, have a wedding we will give them a free wedding tour bridal tour have them come book a tour or if you know of a business wanting to do an event christmas party next year anything a retreat we have a retreat coming up uh, we're actually hosting geraldine's high school prom in march here so we're up for doing anything we're trying to get 30 events this year 30 events so here's what it looks like inside Chandeliers light up, it gets a lot prettier. But this is the the venue, the inside of the venue. I haven't shown it to you in a while. Uh, for those of you who've been watching my channel for a while, you've seen it, haven't shown it to you in a while. So, turn the chandeliers on there. Seats up to 300, indoor and outdoor. So, plenty of room right here by Lake Gunnersville State Park and it's, it's beautiful in this place, guys. So come check it out. Come get a tour. And I'm gonna shut the main light off. This is how I like it, right there. That's, that's when I think it looks the best. Look at that. And then sometimes DJs set up, they do indoor, outdoor dance floors. These big garage doors come up and yeah. So here it is. You can decorate it, change it up however you want. But if you're interested in having an event, we'd love to have you. Just keep that in mind. If you hear of somebody, know of a business owner, want to do an event, please let us know. SweetSpringsAL.com is our website. And you can check us out on Facebook. My wife runs the venue here. And big stuff going on. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. God bless you. We're going to get out of here. We'll catch you on the next one here at Fish with Norby.